In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a play blast. So the first thing you'll notice is I have my three windows. I'm going to tap the space bar while I'm hovering over my camera view. So that's maximized. Uh, before we actually do the play blast, there's a couple settings we need to change. I'm going to go to display, heads up display. I'm going to turn on current frame. And you'll see down here at the bottom when I do that, it turns on. I'm on frame 39. Now I'm on frame one. Also go to display, heads up display and turn off. We're going to turn off our axis. Display, heads up display, view axis. And also, if you haven't already done this in your camera view, you want to make sure that the only things that are visible are polygons and NURB surfaces. We shouldn't see. Um, very often, students will turn on um, their control handles. And we don't really want to see these in our play blast. We just want to see the clean animation. So turn off NURBS curves. All right, so with those set, we're going to right click and hold on the timeline down here. Anywhere on the timeline is fine. Right click and hold. And then you see play blast at the very bottom, go to the options box. And we're going to leave view and show ornaments on even though we turn some of them off. Format AVI is fine, encoding none for now. Quality 70 is, is fine for now. Um, scale is 50 per, 50%, frame padding is four. The important thing is make sure it says save to file. It's probably unchecked when you first open it. Go ahead and check on that and then say browse. And we want to put it in our BBE project folder, movies. So you can see here the path users, Ben Jammer documents, Maya project, BBE movies. I already did one, I'm gonna click on this one, but I'm going to change the number so that it doesn't replace this one, but it's going to um, add it, another one. I'm going to say save. So you should see the path here. And then I'm going to go ahead and say play blast. Now these are really short pieces, so it didn't last very long. I'm going to go ahead and play it and see what it looks like. And you can see that it happens so fast. Um, I'm going to actually move my animation so that the beginning of the play blast actually has some padding. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to go back to my graph editor. I'm going to select my all light, I'm sorry, my all heavy button. Zoom out here. And I'm going to make a marquee around all my animation. And I'm at frame one. I'm going to drag that out to frame, let's say 20. I'm going to drag all this. So I'm holding down the shift button and I'm middle mouse dragging to the right and there's 20. Now if I play it, you can see that we have some animation that we need to clean up. So I need to hold it from frame 20 to frame one. So I'm actually going to um, copy frame 20 and I'll show you this is how you can copy a frame a single frame or multiple sets of frames you go to the frame just before it hold down shift and middle mouse drag through that frame or however many frames you want to copy and now that frame is highlighted red I'm going to right click and say copy I'm going to drag back to frame one and say right click paste paste and now you can see there's a little bit of a bow in the, in the uh, curve. I'm gonna select these and say flat tangent. So now we shouldn't see any movement from frame one to frame 20. It should just be still until we get to 20 and then it drops. Now I'm gonna go back to my camera view, right click, say play blast options. And it's already set in here, but I'm gonna change that 02 to 03 and then say play blast. 
now if we watch it, that gives us some buffer. So we actually give the audience a little bit of time to understand what's going on in the scene. And that's pretty much play blasting. <laughs>